This is Master Wang Chun Leung, one of the world's leading authorities on Wing Chun Kung Fu. He is also recognized within the Hong Kong martial arts community as being the late Bruce Lee's foremost instructor under the guidance of Grandmaster Yip Mun. The sequence of simple hand patterns being performed here, although appearing rather gentle and harmless at first glance, are the seeds of an ingenious system of combat containing some of the deadliest close-range fighting techniques ever devised. Wing Chun, based on the principles of both physics and human anatomy, has been proven as one of the most practical forms of self-defense to date. Grandmaster Yip Mun was responsible for Wing Chun's world fame. The text you see here, written by him, is the entire history of this southern Chinese system which he introduced to Hong Kong from his native province, Guangdong. The roots of the art go back to the famed Shaolin Monastery, which for centuries was the hub of Chinese martial arts. During the Qing Dynasty, Manchu troops killed most of the Shaolin warrior monks and burned down their monastery. Among the few survivors was a Buddhist nun, Ng Moi, who took refuge in the White Crane Temple at Tai Leung Mountain. There, according to legend, she created a system of Kung Fu after being inspired by watching a crane and fox in combat. She then taught her deadly art to a woman, Yim Wing Chun, whom the style has been named after. Wing Chun is a very effective system due to its scientific approach to combat. The style's sophisticated fighting principles are based on both simplicity and the theory of economy of motion or conservation of energy. All the techniques are designed to be structurally faster than other fighting methods as well as more efficient. An imaginary line running down the middle of the body, called the center line, is the basis of Wing Chun fighting theory. Its path is determined by crossing the wrists while extending the arms first down, then up. This movement is found in the beginning of all three Wing Chun forms. Many of the vulnerable points of the human body are located along the center line. Thus, Wing Chun's offensive theory stresses attacking an opponent's center line. Attacking either to the left or right of his center line, your force will be dissipated if he rolls with the blow. Attack his center line and he must absorb the strike's full impact. All Wing Chun's offensive techniques, in particular the straight punch, which is the style's major weapon, begins from the center line. Notice your fists travel along the same path which is perpendicular to the center line. Wing Chun punching is always direct, since the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. Your fist originates at your center line and is delivered directly to his center line. In general, your opponent's nose is the target, 